Welcome to the Learning is Change List, the web series where I get to tackle all the things that I would like to learn how to change in education, the community of reflective practice vloggers, in order to create an engine for authentic learning. So I found something amazing today, and whenever I see something this massively awesome on a scale of humanity that is this large, I feel like it is my duty to share it with as many people as I possibly can. So that is what I am doing with you right now. I found the Fellowship of the Ning. And this group of video bloggers is amazing. Unfortunately, I found it at the very end of their two-and-a-half-year trek through video blogging. But they have hundreds of videos that now I get to go watch all in succession, and I get to enjoy them and become a part of their community because they're not going anywhere. They're just really busy at college. So I want to show you a little bit of what they're doing, what they have done, and why I think it's so massively amazing. <laughs> hey guys, it's Wednesday. Thursday. Hi guys, it's Friday. It's Saturday. Sunday. It's Monday again. Hey Fellowship, it's Tuesday. Seven teenagers from different cultures with different experiences set out on a journey. never left our rooms, may have only spoken to each other from behind the lens of a camera, but it's still been a journey. For all of us, I think. So the woman you just saw is named Jade, and she by far is the one out of this group that resonates the most with me. I love the way that she sees the world and the way that she makes videos and tells stories, but each one of these individuals is from a different culture and from a different community, and the thing that makes the most amazing sense to me <laughs> is the fact that it's authentic. They came together originally on a Ning and then in Facebook and on Skype and all of these other places where they were talking about what they wanted to make videos about and what they wanted to have conversations about. They've been through feminism and they've gone through um, different ways of dealing with change and uh, and with loss and all of these kinds of things. They've you know, been on this journey throughout. They started in September of 2010. You know, that process is the most authentic story that I think I've ever seen as a part of a collaboration. What I love about it is that it didn't start when a teacher or when an adult said, you should do this. It started when they said they wanted it. When they said, I would like to collaborate with these six other people and form this fellowship of the Ning. I can't get enough of that concept, that they were in it and they wanted to be a part of it. And that small community was enough. The community that they have created, these seven, has bridged many, many other communities. It has brought people in and started conversations that never would have happened otherwise. These hundreds of videos that they have released are out there and they become a digital legacy for each one of these participants, both individually as the videos that they produced, as well as all of the videos that are a part of the fellowship. And I love the way that they address one another as the fellowship. They have something to be proud of, and they are proud of it. And I am so thankful that they have created it and that I get to watch it and take part in it. And the thing that I would like to change in education is that these kinds of projects are rare. These kinds of collaborations between young adults are not common. <laughs> they do not happen often, and they should. They should be a part of the daily practice of what we do. We should be addressing one another and getting together and forming these small, tight-knit neighborhoods and communities. And we should be able to do that on a regular basis as young adults all the way through adulthood. And I wanted to think about this. Who are the six other people that form your fellowship? Who are your fellowship of the Ning or whatever service it is that you are trying to create a community within? Who is your fellowship? Because if we don't have one, we need to get one. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do so below. Subscribe on YouTube or join us on the Google Plus community. 